government must never bring on board a CS like CS Mashogu anymore. No single cabinet secretary will be returned back, will be Viva. rehired. Simply because these are the same same faces that we saw they were his friends. Mr. President, ulifanya vizuri kwa wapea kazi for a certain duration of time, maybe it's two years, iyo kazi wamefanya. Some of them you have seen, they have scored enough money, that money is enough. Watumiyo pesa wakonayo, wapewede nyumbani, wafurahie. But we need new faces who can be trusted. So Gen Z, they said that they are linderless, tribeless, and partyless. And partyless. Therefore, the leaders who will come on board as CSs, they should be able to, we should ensure that the CS who comes must be very competent, free of corruption. <laughs> History-wise, it should be as clean, very clean, spot clean. I thank you so much. Uh, my name is Anthony Manyara the president Kenya University Students Organization, KUSO, and also doubling as the president of East African Students Union. Uh, before I begin, let me say I give my condolences on behalf of KUSO and also on behalf of myself to a comrade from the Quartz who lost his life fighting for justice, fighting for progress, and fighting to ensure that this country becomes better. Denzel Omondi. Uh, secondly, I would like to say that we welcome, as KUSO, we welcome the decision by the president of uh, dismissing his entire cabinet. And we would like to say that, as KUSO, we expect him to reconstitute a cabinet that gives hope, that, that uh, inspires confidence, that can be able to be trusted by the people. When we are saying this, we are saying the faces that should be brought forward are new people. Our proposal is to the president, the cabinet must be constituted by the by equal number of youths and women and men. That means if we have six cabinet secretaries who are men, then we expect six as the youth who are under 35. And under 35, we expect that Gen Z also should be represented in that cabinet with, maybe with. with at least two CSs. Yeah. Uh, Another issue that we have seen it wise to say is that in the education sector has been crippled for a long time. And our expectation is that we, we, the government must never bring on board a CS like CS Mashogu anymore. We want someone who can be able to handle education sector with some knowledge. Remember, I had have been saying this for a long time. That's two things. Number one, you cannot pickpocket a naked man. Comrade yeah, yeah, yeah. power. Power. Number two, you cannot cure diarrhea by stitching the anus. Comrade power. Power. Having said that, we expect that the government ensures that the cabinet secretary for education who comes on board should either be very much experienced with the enough knowledge, with the qualifications. And should understand what really happens in our education sector. Yes. Viva. Viva. We will expect that CS to scrap off the education, the new education funding model for the universities. Viva. The same same cabinet secretary to ensure that we have universal suffrage as a means of voting in our in our universities. We should ensure that the CS who comes must be very competent, free of corruption. <laughs> History-wise, it should be as clean. Very clean, spot clean in terms of uh, in terms of character, and it should be very much. It should boost the confidence. Remember, comrades are barometers of wisdom and cadetas of knowledge. Viva. We expect the person who comes must be able to give us confidence to represent students the way they expect. Um, another issue is that the young people spoke, and they said the Gen Z. They said that. They are linderless, tribeless, and partyless. and partyless. Therefore, the leaders who will come on board as CSs, they should be able to boost the kind of they, they should be able to uh, they should be able to woo the trust of those young people by creating more job opportunities, Good. by also reforming the National Youth Council, which has been 
very much inactive for viva, a long time. Viva, viva, viva. 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 The National Youth Council should be able to be dissolved. The parliament should compel the National Youth Council to, co to conduct elections. And the people who should be at the helm, they should be very much competent. They should be people who are the true voices of the people. Not just a few people on a chukuliwa and then they get appointed and then they also make the youth to be frustrated. National Youth Council should be a voice which should create job opportunities to young people. In a far kuwa, even the private sector, when students are going to get jobs, the internships, they should be paid internships. Yes. See, unatoka nyumbani and then you are not able also to afford uh, transport. transport. And then you expect them to work the whole day. And then you cater for your own food, meals and, and, and so forth. So therefore, we expect these governments to compel the private sector to create more job opportunities. Not job, job opportunities alone, internships, uh, paid internships. I must emphasize on that. Paid internships and attachments. And they should offer incentives to those companies private companies, even government parastatos themselves and government agencies, they should be able to open up a pool of uh, opportunities for these young people because I know very well, William Ruto, even if you change the cabinet, even if you dissolve the whole parliament, now to end up you kura, you still have the same same problem because you are leading people who are angry and hungry. Therefore, ensure we come up with policies, reforms that can be able to boost confidence of the masses, especially young people. Because uh, in, in the years before, 1990s, 1980s, very many people grabbed land. Very many people had a lot of wealth. The way we are brought up, these young people, all of them, all they don't, all they, they have are qualifications with no jobs. They have nothing to show. Therefore, the only way to boost confidence and to ensure this nation uh, is harmonious, there is harmonious ex existence from those we found before us, and those who are and those who are coming up is to ensure we create opportunities for them they get jobs stabilize the economy when we are talking about bringing up jobs then we should be able to boost manufacturing we should be able to ensure that certain parastatos io corruption number we are going to be very keen on those director generals ceos all these government employees who have been squandering public money who has been uh, uh, embezzling public funds. We know very well some of these agencies that uh, audit the kind of work that is being done there. Some of them, they are subject to corruption. The youths themselves. Because as I said, comrades are wise. They are very wise. Viva. Therefore, Viva. therefore, going forward, we will audit those parastatos ourselves. We will audit those government agencies ourselves. Isi ile wakati ambayo ulikuwa unaenda unatengeneza bill unapeleka parliament and then it is it is told there by a certain committee of, of, of national assembly of senate inakuwa ya kwamba your bill cannot um, be tabled for motion going forward we'll be able to fast track those things we understand the law we understand the constitution and these are things we expect to be done any questions Okay, you've talked uh, of the cabinet secretary being uh, so, uh, Yes. Maybe where is the area that you think that the president should focus more? Considering that I'm a sec cabinet secretary, is nani what you nadani and apa I have also to emphasize that when we have commended the president for dissolving his cabinet, our expectations is that no single cabinet secretary will be returned back, will be Viva. be hired, simply because these are the same same faces. That we saw they were his friends. Mr. President, ulifanya vizuri kwa wapea kazi for a certain duration of time, maybe it's two years. Iyo kazi wamefanya. Some of them you have seen, they have scored enough money. That money is enough. Watumi yo pesa wakonayo, wapewede nyumbani, wafurahie. But we need new faces who can be trusted. So going forward, we don't expect a kind of reshuffle. Ati huyu alikuwa mzuri kidogo. Ati, ati alikuwa menyamaza. Ati yakuwa na, anatuonyesha, amenunua masaa na maviatu. We expect the entire cabinet to remain outside in the cold and new people to be hired. Very new people. And we have said the youths, Gen Z, some of my friends, comrades, when you are Mekufa, they have not died in vain. These people are fighting for, for, for some certain things to change in their own society. That struggle should amount to ensure that youths, we should have at least six youths 
in the cabinet viva six viva. youths viva na si wale viva na si wale wako na na si wale wako na connection comrade na si wale wako na connection mm. wale ambao unasema these are au ni marafiki walikuwa mbali ati unaleta na waleta we expect competent people like take for instance the professor of uh, uh, what do you call this university daystar university professor professor is, is he called oliero oyero professor yeah. oyero 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 that's a very competent man mtu kama huyu angekuwa ni yes yes wa education ama pia serikali ingenichagua mimi nikuwe CS wanipe tu just wanipe wanipe mimi naomba serikali Mr President William Ruto if it is in your own wisdom because niko na PhD ya huko Wellios University I've done architecture I'm doing law therefore I'm very competent I'm representing I'm representing very intellectual comrades very 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 smart people therefore mimi akiona ni vizuri kuinua wanafunzi kuinua comrades because currently I'm jobless it's not like I'm getting any salary akiamua kunifanya kama CS wa education tuinyoroshe vizuri mm. kama ni ile help ambayo wanafunzi wana wafai kuwa wanainama viva unaona comrades power power comrades wanainama help yenyewe imekuwa ikireduciwa last time we saw in this new uh, the, the, the finance bill that was rejected moments ago help was cut by 10% with a difference of around 3.8 million 3.8 billion and further they were also proposing to reduce it further by saying that now now that the, the bill has been reduced the bill has been rejected then still there will be measures to cut to, to cut the the allocation further as is just to say that that money they must not subtract they can only add and this is what we are telling the the committee on, on, on education the education committee or education committee of the national assembly they should review that hiyo pesa ambayo walitoa lazima warudishe na waongeze and then another issue is that the new funding model for the universities the reforms ambazo wamekuwa ma implement mr president you said it's a good thing going forward but we are seeing still those reforms are not perfect they are not good enough because there was not there was no serious um there was no serious public participation we even went to naivasha to discuss it and all the student leaders in the country they rejected it yet the vice chancellor's committee all the vice chancellors went to state house wakaenda yeah. waka approve wakasema ya kwamba wanafunzi wameikubali oh, these are things we will not we will not accept that funding model it is wrong and we are going to oppose it the only way we can be able to uh, agree on certain measures is that we ensure that funding model is amended certain uh, sections uh policies needs to align with the interests of uh, uh, a comrade the hoi poloi the people who are struggling there on the streets every student deserves a decent education life do you Question. think do you think the all the mps should be dissolved and uh, we do the no, it's not well uh, it is not my it's not possible i lack <laughs> the moral yardstick or rather i lack uh, what do you call it I don't think I'm I'm the best person really to to give that decision but in my own thinking if the Gen Z's feel like a certain MP is not doing well and they voted for a certain and they want him out if the Gen Z still wants that the government to dissolve uh, parliament remember article one of the constitution says what the supreme power belongs to the people therefore should the young people feel they are not confident enough with those MPs also dissolving parliament is an option but i still think that one really will will uh, you know mbc was reconstituted the other right what i feel is that there will be a lot of money uh, money uh, there will be a lot of losses but if they feel we need this change personally my issue is education sector which i feel very much wanafunzi wengi sana wanaumia that is my main specific a message is to ensure that we do reforms in that sector and also young people need proper representation nyc iko na viongozi hapo who are doing nothing so we want the whole overhaul kind of restructuring so that they can boost confidence in the public okay uh, father okay swali yangu ya mwisho eh baba alikuja pala akasema that uh, we, we 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 are expecting some maybe we call it a handshake uh-huh. and uh, kenyans came in through akasema tutaki mambo na handshake 
maybe do you think wakasema pia baba ni wa betray do you think at some point baba betrayed ken baba is a tumbo crat well uh, in my own in my own opinion what i've seen in the past happening in this country <clears throat> some things are necessary to ensure there is peace and stability and uh, we cannot overrule the kind of sacrifice Raila Odinga has done for this country. When I'm saying I'm the president for Kuso, I represent students who are both in opposition and who are supporting governments. Therefore, sometimes we take a neutral position. What I feel like is that there was this kind of conversations we had to ensure that there is, harmony, there is harmonious coexistence between parties to ensure... You remember... To gain power in Kenya, you need a political party, right? Mm. There is no shortcut about it. Even if we say as Gen Zs and as millennials, we want all these leaders and even Ruto to go. What really matters is the, that vote. What I can challenge my, my fellow youngsters in Kenya is that 2027 because it's approaching. And even if you push for reforms in parliament and we have these MPs ousted, the best thing you can do for yourself is you reject voter apathy. Whereby, you know it is your vote that counts. Yeah. We have seen in Kenya, when you lack not to vote, then bad leaders come at play. Viva. Viva. Therefore, Viva. that's the truth. Wisdom. My advice, my advice to fellow young people is that we try as much as possible. Whenever these vote processes are happening, Atam Kiskia kuna public participation of any bill. Please, come out, participate. Si lazima hata uende mahali ambayo hiyo mambo inafanyika. Do even an email. All these grievances. Ukiona hii jafika kama wewe ni mwanafunzi wa university, let me just uh, you know stick to my jurisdiction. If you are a student and you have done you have given your views for public participation and they have not featured anywhere. Reach out to us as kuso and then we'll be able to ask those people why are they not uh, you know considered your views. So I feel like going forward my brother the country that we want is a country that is transparent. It's a country that, you know, cares for all. Viva. The hoi poloi, people who are suffering. Remember, Pale University, I've seen a lot of things. Students, wanainama kila siku. Students are frying rats and hunting birds. It's very unfortunate. And this, this is making us really be in a position that we cannot fathom. So the best thing we can do is to see how Take this opportunity that the president right now is ready for reforms. We change this kind of policies. We change to ensure that every student can be able to survive in the university. Does that mean that you supported Hanshin? Um, I was in the struggle, if you remember very well. I even formed the movement for the defense of democracy. Because I, I was fighting to ensure that this nation listens to the grievances that were there from the opposition. But then I, with time, and many people can identify with me, with time I realized that, you know, that, my, that, that those balls that we had were somehow diverting to personal gain, you know, uh, those kind of things. That is why I defected from all these parties. I even turned on my resignation as a youth leader in some of those parties, which I won't mention now. But very soon, my brother, we are coming up with our own ship. Our own vehicle. Viva, a political viva, party. Viva, Comrade viva, power. Viva. Power. Maybe as well that you can give an advice to the gentlemen. Uh, the they should not give up. Yes. The young people up. should not give up. Remember, this is your future. And uh, desperation is not an option. In the universities, we have seen a lot of mental issues. Yeah. You know why even this movement is unstoppable? Is because people are idle. Mm. You cannot really uh, suppress a voice of someone who has nothing to lose. So in my opinion, the government must ensure they create spaces for these young people. Otherwise, it won't be business as usual. And you know, we are shifting to one's um, technological advancement. Whereby it will be very difficult to track all the voices. It will be very difficult to, you know, to influence these voices to... To, to, to sing your tune. Awa ni watu ambao wamesoma. Chenye awana tu ni kazi. So, I feel like going forward, these people with the knowledge that they have, uh, have the right. You know, this is ancient uh, in the constitution. They have the right to fight for their spaces. They have the right to air their views. 
and constitutionally they can be able to demonstrate they can be able to protest picket you know and and give their petitions to before parliament but uh, i want to insist on this i we don't want to be we don't want to be confused maandamano ya ya my university dio sasa iko ime ime this is the time that we are preparing for new demonstrations these demonstrations are for reforms in the education sector good when we are talking about reforms we want to ensure help help is either retained or increased number two, we want the new funding model reviewed either scrapped dismissed. or reviewed or dismissed number three, all the public institutions in the country they should review their school fees education has become very 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 expensive for students and this is very unfortunate sometimes someone on the higher rank on the top tier they cannot really identify with the thorny issues in those students and their parents therefore very soon ate kuambiwa ati tunaandamana sasa hii sababu ya makabi na sekere washatolewa but trust me you students will be back on the streets demanding for what is theirs always funza mwanafunzi na bado analala nja una mu expect aingia kwa class with an empty stomach that one cannot be allowed it cannot happen you cannot allow easy mazungumzo ambazo mr president amesema which is very positive we ensure those concerns to be addressed to the letter to the letter when we talk about being addressed we want comprehensive public participation na mimi nataka kukua very clear kama kuna constitutions ambazo zitafanyika isikue it's all about the leaders because some of these leaders wengine wa my university from this dual bill which actually we want also to repeal na right now the the the, the cs for defense and then the former and then dual si acha toka kuna ile ilikuwa inaitwa dual bill the one that suppressed the voices of the students yeah. draconian dual bill we will be back actually as soon as on monday i will call you the fourth estate at the national assembly we are introducing a new motion a new bill to overturn the draconian dual bill viva, to ensure viva, viva. Power, power. power to ensure that students no longer vote through uh, delegate system it needs to be universal suffrage where by one kama tunapiga kura hapa kenya tunapigia tuna watu kura viva mtu mmoja anapiga kura yake moja and that vote counts why is it dif different in our universities this is very bad because we are producing very young, very weak leaders who cannot push anything substantial for the benefit of their fellow uh, students some of these uh, student leaders are students they are puppets they are projects of the of the administration and this is something we are fighting against and we will not we will not relent to ensure we overturn that duale bill uh, maybe the last one uh, mr president you've seen our comrades being abducted some are end up being killed and thrown in the dark. very sad maybe very can sad. you address that <coughs> it is very unfortunate that uh, the police they are using uh, force uh, to suppress voices and also to intimidate to instill fear amongst students as a president for Kenya University Students Organization I want to condemn those acts by all means possible to say that it is very unfortunate that this government really uh, compares these young people these students who are airing out their views as enemies of the state it is very unfortunate i think there are better ways of you know there is a way in which people can be able to listen to each other the abductions are very unfortunate because we have seen what they are doing is demonic um it is very let, let me say ungodly because because are, have you seen what that student they did that student to, to, of Jaquat wakamrusha kwa pod you know very sad hata wakati ukitumia hata hata ukienda supermarket utumia karatasi na na umalizane nayo si unakanga kwa dustbin so surely ukienda kutupa kwa pod na ni binadamu and you can't live forever this is very unfortunate and we want we will still follow up i don't know why we should really have confidence with the same same agencies that have been saying they're investigating all these issues and they cannot they are still being manipulated by government these are issues that we want to 
tell the government we want questions answered. While the water may abducted, there should be some kind of accountability. Right now, you have seen even the CES that was there before. There is that kind of uh, overhaul. EO dismissal, it is a good sign because we want the leaders will come in place. They should be able to do their investigations. We get to know the real faces of those people who orchestrated, who actually maimed, who abducted, who used force against students. These are the people we are coming for. Thank you.